This episode is made possible in part by McCormick and Target. Supporting my school. One more popcorn delivery to go. Ooh, it's for Miss Maya. We're coming with your popcorn, Miss Maya. Does that mean we get to sing the popcorn song again? You betcha. Pop, 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 poppity pop. Delivering popcorn to the neighbors on the block. Hey, I don't see any more houses. That's because Miss Maya lives right here. Whoa. Miss Maya has a lot of windows. <laughs> They're not all hers, Rosie. They're not? Whose are they? Ah, this is an apartment building. It has separate homes inside it called apartments, where different people and families live. Interesante. But if different people and families live here, how will we find Miss Maya's apartment? We'll call her on the intercom. Aha. Hi, Miss Maya. It's Crystal. And Rosie. And Liz. I have the popcorn you ordered. Ooh, my popcorn. I'll come right down to let you in. She's coming down to let us in. Hey, what is that? It's a hot dog. I'm pretty sure it's a doggy toy. Are you sure? Take it from me. I'm 12. Also, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie's rule. When a hot dog squeaks, it's probably a doggy toy. But... I don't see a doggy. Oh no, that means there's a sad doggy missing its toy. We've got to find the doggy. But how? I gotta know. I have a great big question, and I just can't let it go. Yo quiero saberlo. I really gotta know. How will we find the doggy that lost its toy? Maybe we can climb up to the roof in hiking boots. And search door to door in our fancy suits. We'll zip through the halls with me as our guide and then ride a roller coaster outside. That would be super tastical. <gasps> I know how we can find the doggy. We can be doggy detectives. Dun, dun, dun. Doggy detectives on the case. Hi, Fuentes family. Miss Maya. 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 Here's your popcorn. Thanks. Is that a hot dog? Uh-huh. It's a dog toy. Some poor doggy lost it. And we're being doggy detectives. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> uh, I'm a detective, too. <laughs> well, I can probably help you out. I know of a few dogs in the building. Come on in. Welcome to my apartment building. <gasps> Mama Macaroni, it's a great big shiny testicle room. This is called the lobby. It's a space that everyone in the apartment building uses when they come and go. Woo <gasps> a doggy! That's Pepper. Come on, I'll take you to meet him. <gasps> it's a room of teeny tiny doors. This is the mail room. There's a whole room for the mail? <laughs> That's right. It's where those of us who live in the apartment building get our mail. These teeny tiny doors are mailboxes. Wow, amazing. Rosie's rule. Sometimes you find a whole entire room just for mail. Hello, Maya. Hi, Adele. This is Liz, Crystal, and Rosie. Nice to meet you. Oh, Pepper says nice to meet you, too. 
Guess what, Pepper? I found your toy. Aww. I guess it's not your toy. That's okay, kids. We're doggy detectives. And do doggy detectives give up? Uh... No, they do not. Maya, are there any other dogs that live in the apartment building? Actually, yes. Trixie the Beagle lives on the fifth floor. To the fifth floor! Anyone know how to get to the fifth floor? <laughs> I do. Follow me. Bye, Adele. Bye, Pepper. Have fun in the mail room. Into the elevator, doggy detectives. There's an elevator in your apartment building? Yes. I take the elevator every day to go up, up, up to my floor and down, down, down to the lobby. Wow, amazing. Let's go up, up, up in the elevator. Push the number five, Rosie. The doors are closing! To the fifth floor! Here we are. Bye, elevator. Thanks for taking us to the fifth floor. Trixie lives right here. Oh, hello. Hi, Trixie. We've got a big surprise for you. We found your hot dog. Toy. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but that isn't Trixie's. Oh, the uh, doggy detectives are running out of doggies to find. Are there any more doggies? I have a doggy. Oh, hello. Didn't see you all the way up there. <laughs> hey there, Maya. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex, the apartment super. What are you super at? Super is short for superintendent. I fix things around the apartment building, like light bulbs. That's super-tastical! <laughs> <laughs> but where's your dog? Here, Nashi. Come here, boy. Good boy. Thank you, Nash. Whoa, Nash helps you do super things, too? Is this your toy, Nash? <laughs> <laughs> what? Not his toy either? But if it isn't Pepper's, or Trixie's, or Nash's, then there's still a sad doggy missing its toy, and... I need to flop. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wiggle about. Now I'm ready to figure this out. Mama's out there. I need to call Abuela. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Whoops! Gave you the wrong thing. Rosie's rule. You definitely can't call your Abuela on a hot dog toy. <laughs> Hola, Abuela. Hola, mi niña. I'm doing a puzzle. Just one more piece. I finished! Mira que bonito! Que pasa? We're doggy detectives! But we can't find the dog that lost this hot dog toy. Mira, Rosalia, being a detective is just like putting together a puzzle. Each piece is like a clue. You just keep searching until you're done. Adios, granito de arroz! Ciao, Bacalao! Put the pieces together. Hmm. <gasps> Wait a second, Madoodle. Maybe this hot dog toy belongs to a doggy who doesn't live in this apartment building. Hmm. Actually, there's a dog who lives down the street in a townhouse. So maybe the toy belongs to that dog. Oh, yeah. It's a dog in a townhouse. Oh, yeah. And what's a townhouse? A townhouse is a house that's attached to another house. Did you hear that, little hot dog? We're taking you home to a townhouse. There's a house, but it's not attached to another house. So, not a townhouse. Keep searching, doggy detectives! These houses are attached. They must be townhouses. You're right, Detective Rosie. They are. Well, hello, Fuentes family. Mr. Townhouse! You live in this cool and doodle townhouse? I sure do. Well, Noodle and I. Who's Noodle? Woo! 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 
Aww. So cute! cute. <laughs> Noodle, is this your toy? Woo! 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 <gasps> we found the doggy that lost his toy! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the doggy detective solved the case. Dun, dun, dun! Look at all these places to live in. Comfy spaces we can call our own. Townhouses, apartments, and houses. Each and every one of them is home. I live in a house with just my family. Apartment buildings hold a lot more people, you see. Yeah, it does. A townhouse, big or small, where neighbors share a wall. It's a super place to dance and play and be. Look at all these places to live in. Me then. Comfy spaces we can call our own. Our very own. Townhouses, apartments, and houses. Each and every one of them is home. Look at all these places to live in. With Jissimas! Wow, so many places to live in. Each and every one of them is home. Woo! 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 Yay! Well, I think this calls for a celebration. Popcorn for everyone! Woohoo! Woo pop, pop, pop! Popity pop! Delivering popcorn to the neighbors on the block! <laughs> Rosie's rule! You might live in a house, an apartment, or a townhouse. And they're all perfect for a popcorn party! Woo! 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 <laughs> a house for Gatita! Wow! Help, I'm a sea star, and I'm stuck at the bottom of the sea. <coughs> Hang on, little sea star. Wonder Walrus will save the day. For me, so... <coughs> Swish, swimming through. Swish. Wonder <coughs> Walrus is here with my friend, <coughs> Wonder Catfish. <coughs> Aw, are you trying to rescue Tita? <coughs> okay. I'll try to be quieter. I'm Wonder Walrus, and... Here I come, little sea star! Oops. Perdón, gatita. Rosie's rule. It's hard to be quiet when you're saving a sea star. Vamos. Let's find a quiet place for you to rest downstairs. Listo. Your favorite spot. And it's nice and quiet. ¿Qué pasa, calabaza? Nada, empanada. Let's try another spot. Now say it. Your second favorite spot. Definitely nice and quiet here. Choo choo. Chugga chugga chugga. Icky, do you have to play trains here? Yes. Why? Because Icky want to. Choo choo. Chugga chugga choo choo. Hmm. And there is too vacuumy. And here is too trainy. Up there is too wonder walrusy. It can't find a quiet place for Gatita to rest. Hmm. Wait a second, my doodle. What if I make a quiet, comfy, cozy house just for you? <coughs> but what kind of house should I make? I've gotta know. <laughs> Big question, and I just can't let it go. Yo quiero saberlo. I really gotta know. What kind of house should I make for Gatita? Maybe... I'll make a tree house that goes as high as Mars. Or make a circus tent with yarn and bright red stars. A cave or a cabin made out of bamboo with kitty cat toys coming out of a shoe. Toys in a shoe. Hola, Javi. Hola, tío. Hola, primo. Guess what? I'm making a house for Gatita. Pero... Doesn't Gatita live in this house? Así es, but this one is too noisy. Too, too. And too trainy. And too vacuumy. So... Want to help build Gatita a new house with me? 
Well, I wanted to play Wonder Walrus, but... Okay, right. Now, what does Gatita's house need first? She needs a bedroom. Yeah, so she can have a quiet place to rest. Here's Gatita's bed. Mm, very comfy. And here's a lamp, in case she's scared of the dark. Or wants to read a bedtime story. Oh, una cosita más. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> Oof. A turtle. <laughs> Her house is ready. Adelante, Gatita. Welcome to your new... Wait! Un momento, por favor. What's wrong, Prima? I'm welcoming Gatita. It's just that Gatita gets hungry after a nap. So we should also make her... A kitchen. Buena idea! Otro momento, Gatita. We need to make you a kitty kitchen. Here's a kitchen table and kitchen chair. And here's a plate of D-yummy kitty crunchies. Here's some water. Gatita's kitchen is super tastical. <laughs> Adelante, Gatita. Welcome to your new... Wait! Uh, just one more second. Hmm. Ahora qué? It's just that after Gatita eats, she likes to play, so she needs a room to play in. You mean, like a playroom? Exacto! <laughs> It's a kitty slide. Mira. A ball pit. <laughs> Giant kitty toy. Now Gatita has a bedroom, a kitchen, and a playroom. And a car. <laughs> a car? <laughs> Do cats know how to drive? <laughs> I guess they do. Rosie's rule. Sometimes your cutie ball cat likes to drive a car. <laughs> Did you have a fun drive, Katita? Orale. Pero. Where will we put Katita's car when she's not driving it? Hmm. We, we need to call Abuela. <laughs> Softball glove. Hola, mis niños. I'm going to play softball with my friends. ¿Qué pasa? We're building a house for Gatita, but we don't know where to put her car. A car for Gatita? Miren, niños, I don't know about cats driving a car, but I know many people park their car in a garage, like me. A garage. Well, I don't want to miss the first pitch. Adios, granitos de arroz. Ciao, bacalao. ¿Qué crees, Gatita? You're getting a garage. <coughs> Presenting a garage for Gatita. Now is her house ready? It's ready. Adelante, Gatita. Welcome to your new house. Cozy, quiet nap, Gatita. <coughs> Mama Macaroni, Gatita's house is blowing away. <coughs> oh no! Well, that didn't work. <gasps> I just wanted a house for Gatita so she could have a quiet and comfy place to rest, but her house blew away and. Oh, I need to flop. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wiggle about. Now I'm ready to figure this out. Vamos a ver. Interesante. What's interesante? Mia, Javi. The wind didn't blow my house down. Because it has walls to keep it standing. And your roof 
keeps the leaves from falling on your head. And the window keeps the water from getting us all wet. That's why Gatita's house blew away. We forgot to build the house part of the house. I knew we were missing something. Let's get building! Adelante, Gatita! Welcome to your new house! It has walls, windows, a roof, and a door. Oh, she loves it. Whoa. Whoa. No leaves on her head. Hurry, dance. Sale y vale. Elbow bump, bump, silly jump, jump. muévete. Wow. Sorry, Katita. I'll shut the door so it's nice and quiet. I will build a house with some windows. Lots of windows and walls and a door. I will build a house with a roof above my head. So I'll be safe and warm when I'm in bed. A strong roof and some walls will always keep us warm. A window's a well amazing place to sit and watch a storm. Sometimes we lock the door before we leave. But just remember where we put the key. I will build a house with some windows. Lots of windows and walls and a door. I will build a house with a roof above my head, so I'll be safe and warm when I'm in bed. A door, a roof, and walls with windows. A door, a roof, and walls with windows. All we need to keep us safe and warm. Help! I'm stuck at the bottom of the sea. Hang on, little sea star. Wonder Wars will save the day. Or, 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 or. Formisa, swimming through. <laughs> Gatita, looks like you got lots of rest in your new house. Now you can play with us. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie's Rock. A house has a roof, windows, walls, and a door to keep you safe and cozy. And sometimes it also has a kitty cat who loves to play Wonder Wallers. <laughs> Welcome to Storytime with Mom. Today's story is a classic tale of the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three pigs. Hello. Oink, oink, oink. Hola. One day, the pigs set out to build their houses. The first pig decided to build her house out of... Cupcakes. Cupcakes? That's not what the story says. I'm going to sculpt my house out of paintbrushes. Y yo? What should I build my house out of? <gasps> Zapatos. Am I reading the right story? Ah, here we go. Suddenly, the pigs heard a howl in the distance. At once they knew it was the big, bad lobster. A lobster? All right. The lobster said, I'm going to huff and puff and pinch your house down. Pinch, pinch. You can't pinch our houses down because we're having a cupcake and painting party. Hooray! Yay! Cupcake and painting party? Okay. This isn't how the story goes. Yeah, but what's better than a cupcake party? That's true. See you soon for another story time with Mom. Mmm, these are delicious. <laughs> Rosie's Rules is made possible in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.
a private corporation funded by the American people and by viewers like you. Thank you. Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.